Welcome again to LINK Paris 2022. And we have with us today Professor Tudor Joven. And I'm very happy to have you back. And today I understand that you recently presented a study on basilar artery occlusion. And I'd like you to speak a little about that for the LINK audience. Yeah, I was uh, fortunate enough to be a co-principal investigator together with uh, Professor Xunming Ji from uh, Xuan Wu Hospital in, in Beijing, uh, China. Uh, this is a project that uh, we embarked upon uh, about uh, seven years and uh, we sought to address the benefit of thrombectomy in uh, basilar artery occlusion. We know that uh, obviously that uh, thrombectomy is effective in uh, acute uh, stroke in, uh, due to large vessel occlusion in the anterior circulation in the carotid territory. but. Uh, to date, there have been no published studies attesting uh, the efficacy um, of, uh, of thrombectomy for posterior circulation mm -hmm. stroke. We know that uh, posterior circulation stroke, basilar artery occlusion stroke, uh, has some particular aspects compared to uh, carotid artery territory stroke, uh, one of which is that um, it has a, a more dismal prognosis if untreated. Um, with very high rates of mortality and, and severe disability. Uh, the anatomy is a bit different and, uh, and uh, uh, reports have suggested that the brainstem is actually a bit more resistant to ischemia than other regions in the brain. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we embarked upon this uh, study and we chose uh, a time window that is very similar to the dawn trial, 6 mm -hmm. to 24 hours, uh, in part uh, because um, we felt that after the 2015 uh, randomized trials, uh, there would be, it would be hard uh, to have equipoise mm -hmm. uh, with regards to um, uh, treatment in the early time window. So we thought that uh, in, in the six to 24 hours time window, people would actually be willing to randomize patients. And, we, um, um, and, and the other thing is that it appears that uh, certainly intravenous TPA is effective for stroke due to basilar artery occlusion, probably more so than in the anterior circulation. So previous trials uh, have been conducted and uh, probably because of uh, a large number of TPA treated patients in mm -hmm. the control group, uh, because these were early time window trials, mm -hmm. Uh, the treatment effect was not as, as strong as expected and the trial was underpowered to show a difference and it was a negative trial. And uh, the other trial, and this was the basics, uh, basics trials, trial, and the other trial called BEST was conducted also in China, uh, had the problem of uh, too many crossovers from the assigned uh, control group, the medical therapy group, mm. to uh, the thrombectomy group. And uh, because of that, the trial was negative because, the, uh, because of this uh, large number of crossovers. So uh, we thought to kind of uh, address uh, these uh, issues by going to a 6 to 24 hour time window, selecting patients based on uh, absence of a large infarct in the posterior circulation, which was assessed based on a plain CT or CT, uh, CT and CT angiogram source images. Uh, or MRI, but mm -hmm. most of the patients uh, underwent CT. And then in particular also making sure that in the brainstem there is no large infarct because pretty much the outcome of basilar artery occlusion is, dry, is uh, driven by the amount of infarct you have in the brainstem. So this was a trial conducted in China. Uh, the, the, there were 217 patients mm -hmm. that were enrolled mm -hmm. uh, to either best medical therapy or thrombectomy. Mm -hmm and we were delighted. This was a, an interim analysis out of a total plant sample size of 318 patients. At 212 patients, there was an uh, interim analysis that uh, showed that thrombectomy was beneficial with a treatment effect that is very similar to what was seen in the anterior circulation. 22% treatment effect difference mm -hmm. in the modified ranking score of zero to three uh, mm -hmm. between in favor of thrombectomy. Uh, with, uh, with pretty much all the secondary uh, endpoints uh, all trending or in, in, in the same direction. Um, and the subgroup analysis also uh, showing that uh, pretty much uh, in, in all subgroups, 
that were pre-specified, there was uh, the benefit of, uh, of, uh, tr of thrombectomy across, across the board. And when are you going to have your final results? The final results uh, we have uh, already, we presented the data at the European Stroke mm -hmm. Organization Conference and I'll present the data here at, uh, at LINK on Wednesday with mm -hmm. a few particularities uh, uh, related to procedure, uh, procedural details that were not presented at, uh, at the European Stroke Conference. Um, and, um, uh, you know, we, we have, uh, and, and, and these results are actually remarkably similar to another uh, study that was also mm -hmm. presented at, uh, at the European Stroke Organization Conference called Attention, uh, that enrolled patients in the early time window, 0 to 12 hours, and these two results show remarkably similar, uh, these two trials show remarkably similar results. So very, very close um, uh, um, uh, numbers uh, in terms of uh, treatment effect. Well, that's, that's very interesting. We, we have to end now, but we're looking forward to hearing more about this in our next interview and, of course, in your presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you.